Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 through 18. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bound, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And his number is six hundred three score and six. A lot of strange events will be taking place in these last days. The world is moving, society is changing, the culture is shifting, and it is all heading in one direction. It is heading to the society of the Antichrist. Look out into the world. Don't you think the world will accept him when he comes? The world is ready to receive him when he comes. So many significant things are falling into place, awaiting his arrival. Firstly, look at the culture of celebrities. Celebrities have become akin to gods to the public. They are worshipped in bedrooms by way of large posters displaying their Photoshop bodies. People chant and scream their names at concerts. That is worship. Quite literally, celebrities are worshipped in concerts. When the audience screams and exalts that celebrity's name, they are worshipping them. They are exalting these individuals, putting them on pedestals as if they are some sort of deity. Celebrities are read about obsessively through social media and the news, and their advice is even heeded in regard to global issues and personal difficulties. Celebrities are worshipped, quite literally, they are worshipped. Why do you think brands pay millions of dollars to get celebrities to wear or endorse their products? The reason is because celebrities are worshipped. Growing up in my generation, Michael Jackson was a big deal in those days, and I remember watching one of his concerts, and I am not even exaggerating. People would literally faint at just his sight. People would scream hysterically and quite literally worship him. If a celebrity does something or begins to wear something, the trend is their followers will do the same. Now think, just think for one moment. When the mark of the beast is introduced and a few celebrities get it, don't you think there will be a multitude of people who will also get the mark? When celebrities begin to endorse and worship the man of sin, don't you think that society will do the same? Just think why do brands pay these people millions of dollars? These people have influence, and in all honesty the Antichrist will be a celebrity in his own right. Never in the history of mankind will we have ever seen a man loved by this world like him. This man will have everything you would look for in a leader. He will appear as the solution to all the world's problems. Just think how demonically charismatic this man will be for him to bring all the nations of the world together. This world is so divided. There are so many countries who don't see eye to eye, but they will all look to him for leadership. No natural man can do this. This man will be energized by the very power of hell. Remember, Satan took Jesus to a mountain exceedingly high and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said, all this I will give you if you will bow down and worship me. I honestly believe this is what the Antichrist will receive. He will receive all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. This is why people will be so drawn to him. The culture of celebrities has even entered the church. You must have heard the term celebrity pastors. It is a culture that is moving into the church. I won't speak too much on this topic, but I want you to ask yourself, do you think this is a culture that we should have in the church? Do you think that God looks down at the culture of celebrity pastors and approves of it? Only God should be worshipped. Only God should be adored. Only God is worthy. Not a man, not a woman. Only God is great. Only God is great. Don't elevate people. It leads you down a dangerous path. Aside from the introduction of the worship and culture of celebrities, we can see that society in general is moving towards a culture that will love the man of sin and all that he stands for. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 speaks of an apostasy that will take place like never before, and we can see it unfolding before our eyes. It is unprecedented, worldwide revolt against all things godly, and even many who claim to be Christians are being caught up in it. 
We are living in an age where people call good evil and evil good. Look at some of the laws that have been passed over the last 20 years. Just look at how much the world has changed in the last 20 years and you will see that. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 7 is telling us the truth. That the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. It's already at work preparing the way for the man of sin. Every day of the week, every week of the year, every year of our life, the mystery of iniquity is at work. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 7 For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains will do so until he is taken out of the way. He who is now restraining is no one other than the Holy Spirit, but it is as if he is already being taken away slowly but surely. In other words, what 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 6 through 7 is saying is that the forces that would bring the Antichrist to power are eager to establish his unholy kingdom, but they are currently being restrained. When the Antichrist arrives, he won't require 50 to 60 years to prepare for his kingdom. No, the Bible is clear. There are forces in their spirit realm pushing the hearts of men, preparing the world for his arrival, molding their hearts for him. This is what is happening in the spirit world right now. There are spirits drawing people closer to the mark, drawing the world closer to the rule of the Antichrist. The truth is at their very core, people are beginning to change. Society is become more and more anti-God and more anti the Bible. This is exactly the world the Antichrist would want to walk into. Wake up, people of God. Don't you think we are currently undergoing a dress rehearsal for the rule of the Antichrist? Discern what is going on in the world. Discern how the advancement of technology is pushing us closer and closer to a world where without the mark, no man or woman will be able to buy or sell. The writing is on the wall. Look at your Bible and look at the world and you will see that we are living in the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 13 verses 16 through 18 reveals to us that irrespective of your race, social class, or financial status, it will become a must to accept the mark before any form of financial transaction can be made. This means that people will not have a choice other than to take the mark because that will be the only means by which they can either buy or sell. Then, anyone who does not have the mark will be in stark contrast to the multitude who have 666 on their foreheads or right hands. We must discern that the scriptures are being fulfilled already. Revelation chapter 14 verse 9 through 10. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. On this note, it is important for believers to be constantly reminded that the return of the Lord is imminent. We must prove to the world that we are children of the light in the season. As a believer, you shouldn't be ashamed to associate with Christ anywhere you are. We should be bold if we are doing the right things. We should be bold to preach the gospel, not minding whether we would be accepted or not. There is already a warning that anyone who accepts the mark will suffer the eternal wrath of God. As we live every day of our lives accepting the return of the Lord, we must also proclaim the gospel of Christ which is potent to save people from eternal destruction. The mark of the beast is coming and people are already preparing themselves for it. 